Today welcome to another episode for Grace. Today we're gonna play PJ Masks. Yes, we've been playing PJ Masks, huh? So I wanted to make this video kind of as a update vlog on how things are going because I feel like there's a couple things to update you all on. Can Baby said Alex in her thinking chair. Oh, Alex in her thinking chair. So the boys love playing PJ Masks. Grayson is always Owlette. Porter is always Gecko. And I am always the bad guy. I'm Night Ninja and I chase them around. And then they... The bottom bunk is jail, where I like to be. I get to lay in jail. And then the top bunk is usually the owlet's nest, where they like to go out there. And then sometimes they go in their tent, which is their secret hideout. I want a secret hideout. Okay. So the boys love playing in these bunk beds. You would have thought we would have gotten them like a playground to play on because it's all they want to do. They just want to come upstairs and play the same game over and over again. Porter doesn't really like going up into the top bunk. Grayson does. Porter's just a little nervous going up and down the ladder. Uh, but these are super fun for the boys. These are eventually going to be Porter's new bed. Eventually, Porter will sleep in that bottom bunk. I can't remember if I updated you all how that went. Like, we put the bunk beds together, and then we put Porter in the bottom bunk on the first night. Like, okay, this is your new bed now. And he did fine and fell asleep in it. And then at, like, 1 a.m., Porter woke up and was scared and wanted to go back to his crib. And so ever since then, he's been back in his crib, which I am fine with because baby girl's not here yet. We don't need to kick him out yet. So eventually he will be in the bunk beds, but for now they're empty and the kids just play on them constantly. They love it. The boys have been playing so much together and it's so fun to see and a nice break for me as well. On the other hand, Grayson, as you all saw, moved into our queen guest bed. Now it's his bed. I'll show you guys. So here's his new setup in his room. He's been doing really well with this as we thought he would. Gray does really well with change and he loves his new bed. He sleeps in it just fine. No problems. The only problem that we are running into is I accidentally got full-sized sheets, and this is a queen-size bed, so they don't really fit, so I need to get him new sheets. But other than that, this has been going great. Grayson loves his bed. They love jumping on the bed. They love playing in here. It's been an easy transition for him. What? I want to do PJ Masks. You want to do PJ Masks? Yes. Okay. I like you and you Okay, I'm still vlogging. Do you like your new bed, Gray? Yes. Yeah, is it pretty nice? Yes. Show me how you sleep in your new bed. I, I want to sleep. How do you sleep in your new bed? Slow. I sleep in the bed and Porter joined me. Oh, okay. <laughs> See this? Mm -hmm. So comfy. Oh, is it so comfy? Yeah, Grayson's got tons of blankets. <laughs> they like to pretend to sleep in their beds. I do need to move this sign over because it's off center now. And I need like some wall art. <laughs> and I want to put like a l cute little like cozy reading chair or something now that this corner is bare for all of his books. But it's a work in progress. So that's how it's going in the bed situation. Um, overall, pretty good. We will eventually warm Porter up to the bunk beds. I mean, eventually he's just going to have to move out and he's just going to have to get used to it. But no point in fighting him on it now because um, there's really no need to. Speaking of Porter, an update on him. Porter, are you going pee pee in the potty? <gasps> Yeah. Me too. You too? Yeah, Grayson goes pee-pee in the potty too. 
we are continuing to tr potty train Porter. As you can tell, he now has undies on, which I just started him on that. So we'll no, see how it goes. So it's been about two weeks maybe of potty training Porter, like passively. We did take like a weekend break because we were in Florida and the kids went to Anthony's parents' house. Um, and then like, I haven't been not going anywhere. So like when we're home for long periods of time, I've just been having him naked. And it's actually been going really, really well. He has accidents here and there. But for the most part, either I ask him to go pee and he'll sit on the potty, or actually a lot of times Porter will tell me that he has to go potty. So he's been doing really, really well naked. It's just when we put clothes on him that he doesn't do the best. I put him in undies today. This is his third pair of undies he's gone through. So we're getting there, but he's got to learn eventually. So he's been doing really well. He's never fought me on it, which is a big thing. Um, he's obviously ready for potty training. We still do diaper for nap and bed, but other than that, uh, we've done pull-ups here and there. Um, we have been out in public. We've been to the library. One time we were out shopping and he has told me that he has to go pee. And so he pees in the public potties, no problem. When I was potty training Gray, when he first started, he would only go in the little potty. Porter doesn't care. He'll go in the little potty. He'll go in the big potty. He'll go without a potty seat. So that's been really nice. So he's been doing really, really well with potty training. I'm so happy with our progress that we've made. And we're just going to keep working on it as we can. And just taking it at his pace. Which is really good because he starts preschool in the fall. And he has to be completely potty trained to start preschool. So we are making great time on that. Speaking of school, I did register Grayson for kindergarten, finally. Um, so that's been really exciting. I had to upload a ton of paperwork to register Gray for preschool. It was like I had to do Anthony and I's IDs. I had to do um, birth certificate, which funniest thing, that is the first time I've had to like show Grayson's birth certificate, which is crazy. Like his soccer never had to show his birth certificate to like prove that he was in the right age bracket. They just took me at my word. Preschool, I never had to show his birth certificate. They just took me at my word. Like, oh, okay, that's the age he is. Finally, kindergarten, they were like, no, we need a birth certificate. So I was able to upload all those documents and I had to fill out like a ton of questions. Like, has he gotten to school before? What age is he? Are you willing to volunteer? Like just a ton of different things. Does he need any like accommodations at school? Yeah, como estas? So I had to do all that, got all that done. And then the final step of registration, I think, is I have to have a phone call with their like admissions counselor it just sounds like a big deal i don't know so i have that scheduled for like february sometime this month because it's february 1st sometime this month and i think it's just to go over like paperwork and like make sure i have everything done and probably just like answer any questions i have which i was thinking about it the other night like should i have questions like i don't know this is obviously my oldest my first experience with this so i don't know i guess i don't know what to prepare for so I have that coming up in a couple weeks and then he should be good. I don't know. I guess I'll see like what the next steps are. I know that he has to complete like a kindergarten screening, but that will be like right before school starts. And that's where they like test the kids to see kind of like what level they're all on to see like where they should be teaching and stuff. So I do know we have that, but not for a while. So... We've been doing a ton of stuff. Also, the car situation. So the past couple days, Anthony and I have been going around to a million different car dealerships and looking for cars, um, minivans specifically. At first, we weren't finding any minivans, and now we found a ton. So we're feeling better about that. We've got it narrowed down to either the Honda Odyssey or the Chrysler Pacifica. I think we're leaning towards the Chrysler, but either car would be great. So we definitely need to lock in and find a car before baby girl comes. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully baby comes early and she comes next month in March. But 
I don't know. Hopefully I can evict her, but I don't know if I'll be able to. I guess we'll just see. So we have not bought a car yet, but we've made a lot of progress on it. So that's the update there. I'm trying to think of anything else that's been going on. We go to Florida this month with the boys. We're going to go see my grandma, their great grandma. And then we're also going to Disney. So that's going to happen in like two weeks. So that's super exciting. The boys are pumped to go. And I'm excited to just get out of the cold and something fun. I want to go to Disney and my mom. And mama, I know. We're going to go see them in Florida. Are you so excited? Yes, I can't. That's I for can't Porter. Go give that it. to Porter. I can't. Believe it. Yeah, it'll be fun. So I will definitely vlog that. I'm obviously still pregnant. I turn 31 weeks today. So I'm 31 weeks in the final stretch. I'm in pain all the time. I'm so done with being pregnant. But little one is doing well. I have a doctor's appointment coming up in less than two weeks. So all that's going well. I just feel like this is just going to be an update vlog because, I don't know, there's just a lot going on. So happy January is over because January is literally like the longest month ever. Yay. Actually, it went, kind, it went kind of fast this yeah. year. I don't know why, but it actually wasn't that bad. And we only had like one really bad snowstorm, maybe two. Uh, Gray did have a snow day. He's had one snow day so far. February is typically the snowiest month, at least here in Ohio, but it does look like it's going to be kind of a warmer February. We might not get that much snowstorms, but I guess we will see. It's pretty cold out now. It's like 21 out. It's cold, but it's going to get warmer um, next week. So anyway, we're doing well. We're just chugging along. Lots of things going on in our lives, as usual, uh, which keeps things upbeat and interesting. And yeah, I guess I'll just vlog here and there. Maybe we'll go play in our basement for a little bit. And I got play some toys. I need to make dinner in a little bit. And just kind of winding down as the day goes on. It's like afternoon here. So the day's almost over. And Gray had preschool today, and they learned Spanish. Super cool. His preschool teaches Spanish, which I didn't learn Spanish when I went to preschool. So it's just pretty cool for him. Grayson, what Spanish did you learn today? Hola, como estas? Hola, como estas? What does that mean? Hello, how are you? Mm -hmm. And how do you say, I love you? Te amo. Te amo. Good. So Gray loves learning Spanish, huh? Te amo. Amo dos. Yes, that means I love you too. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if that's right, but we'll but pretend it is. Love me with love. Are you are you brushing Felix? That's nice. <laughs> Look, this person. Oh, another thing. We got out a bunch of stuff of baby stuff to prepare for baby girl coming. So this is the bottom of our Halo bassinet base. There's the top of it. Don't mind the messy room. Um, there's the top of the base, so we need to put that on and put that... Well, I sleep on this side of the bed, so probably over there. And then I've been going through, like, my breastfeeding supplies. These are, like, my breastfeeding shirts and then all that good stuff. Bringing back memories, all the breast pads and the milk bags and nose sucker and just all the good stuff. My breast pump is in there. So trying to get prepared for baby girl. We got a ton of stuff. It's in the basement um, out of the crawl space. So it's at least easy to access, but we're not really getting it out too much yet. I did have to check our infant car seat to see if I needed to get a new one, if it was expired or not. Thankfully it is not expired yet. So that is a good thing, saves us money there. So we just need to get a car, a big car, to put the car seat in. We are slowly but surely getting things ready for baby girl. My mom and I were gonna go hit up a Bye Bye Baby this weekend. I guess they're like going out of business because they're owned by the same owner as Bed Bath & Beyond and they're going out of business too. So maybe we'll find some stuff there. Still need to get some more clothes for her. And then I've gotten like zero things for her nursery. So that's kind of an issue. I think I have like 60 days to go around there. So we are in the home stretch. 
of being done and having a newborn. So that's been super exciting. But if anything else happens today, anything fun and exciting, I will vlog it for you guys. Hey guys, I'm just sitting on my couch in my comfy clothes. Anthony's out um, with his friends. I've got Felix here next to me on the couch, but you can't see him. Uh, the boys are in bed, so obviously I didn't vlog anything else today. I honestly kind of hit a wall today, and I think the winter blues are just kind of getting to me. We just are stuck inside every day because we live in Ohio, so we can't go outside because it's cold. I mean, we could go outside, but then we'd freeze, and I hate cold weather. And so it just feels very monotonous, even though, like, earlier I was like oh we have so much going on there's so many updates and stuff but in the day to day in the in between it's just so monotonous like it's just Gray goes to preschool we pick him up we do nap time we play inside we do dinner bath and then bed and so it just it's really hard to like I don't know just look forward to the next day because it's all just the same and it's very Ah, it's just winter blues. It's just depressing. So I was struggling with that. I've also been feeling anxious lately just with, I think I'm in nesting mode. Like I just constantly feel like I need to be doing something. Like I'm sitting right here relaxing, which I feel entitled to because it was a long day. And I can't help but just feel like there's something nagging at me of something I need to be doing, even though... There's really nothing pressing that I need to be doing, but I can't like shake that feeling. So anyway, I didn't vlog anymore. The kids were just, I think like them being cooped up every day, all day is getting to them too. Gray had a rough day at preschool today. Um, Porter's been really sassy and sad lately. So I don't know what's going on, but everyone's just kind of acting kind of funky lately so it makes the days really long doesn't help that like the kids want to play the same like three songs over and over again from Winnie the Pooh and it's literally driving me insane <laughs> so I don't know today was a hard day it started off fine it went to a hard day so I'm just coming on here to say if you have hard days I have hard days too but at least the day's over, kids are in bed, so I can relax, hopefully, even though I feel like I should be doing something, I don't know. Um, I'm watching White Lotus. Anthony and I watched the first season together, and we were like, this series stinks. <laughs> we really didn't like it. The whole time we were trying to figure out, like, what's the point? And there was no point. It was just following the lives of these people, and then it was hard to like these people. If you've watched White Lotus, like... You'll understand, but it's like all these people on vacation and they all have issues. So you're trying to find somebody you like, but you don't like any of them. I'm on season two now. Anthony refused to watch the second season. But a lot of people say that the second season is better. I'm on episode six. So I'm like more than halfway through. And I do agree. The second season is way better than the first. I like the characters better. The story's better. Um, so I definitely do. I've been enjoying this one better. It's still not like amazing like everybody says it is, but it's definitely better. So I'm watching that while Anthony's gone because he does not want to watch that with me. And I guess I'm just going to take it easy. I don't know. I guess I don't really have much more to say, but hopefully warmer weather is coming soon, even though it's February 1st. It's probably going to be another two months, but... I can hope, and at least I have a Florida trip coming up, so at least I'll get a break from the cold for a little bit and a break from the monotony. Um, having the structure of Greg going to preschool four days a week helps. Uh, I can remember when it was just like me and Gray, or me and Gray and Porter, and Grayson wasn't in school yet, and it it was so hard in those days because it just felt like literally every day was the same and I was just stuck at home inside with two young kids or one young kid when I, it was just me and Gray and just having like nothing to do and so it's definitely better as they get older they're able to play by themselves more we have things to take them to so that has gotten better but it is still like they're still young and so I'm still feeling a lot of that like 
winter blues, stuck inside, trying to entertain my kids, but trying to entertain myself as well, and just wishing for summer. I'm sure I'm not the only mom parent out there who feels that way during this time of year, but I do, there are times where I wish we lived like in Florida or somewhere warmer so that we could get out <laughs> during the winter months. I bet that would be a lot easier. We're just gonna keep going, just taking it day by day. Doesn't help that like I'm pregnant, I've got hormones going like crazy, I'm emotional all the time and I'm tired extra because I'm growing human. So yeah, just a hard day. I don't know. I didn't mean for this vlog to end on a sour note, but I just wanted to like be real with you guys and let me let you all know how I'm feeling. I feel like you guys are like my friends and I don't have very many friends, so I don't have a lot of people to talk to. So this is nice that I can kind of vent, I guess, and just let you know how I'm doing. So Hopefully tomorrow is a better day, and I don't know when I'm going to pick the vlog back up again. Um, we don't really have that much going on. Like I said, my mom and I are going to go shopping on Sunday for some stuff for baby girl for the nursery. My mom wants to get me a new rocking chair for, as an early birthday present. My birthday is in June. It's February. Close enough. We desperately need a new rocking chair. Um, the one we have is the original we've had since Gray was born. So it's like, what, five years old now? And it's just falling apart. It's gone through a move. It's gone through the kids being crazy on it. Just needs, it was a cheap one from Amazon anyway. So I'm really hoping to get like a nice comfy one um, because I'm planning on using it a lot with baby girl. You continue to use it even once they're Porter's age and heck even Grayson's age at four or five you keep using it and um I definitely plan on having more kids after this baby at least one more so definitely get use out of it so it's definitely like worth getting another one or a new one instead of just like sticking it out with the one I have so if I remember to I'll pull out the vlog and maybe I'll vlog that day but if not I don't know when the next time I'll vlog, but I'm sure something will pop up and hopefully I'll have the energy to keep you guys involved. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope this vlog wasn't too depressing for you at the end here. <laughs> uh, hopefully the kids interacting with each other brightened your day because they brighten my day even though they drive me crazy too. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.